and welcome back to my channel. It's Janet and if you're new here, make sure you hit that red subscribe button. Give this video a like to let me know that you're liking my content and don't forget to hit that notification bell so YouTube can notify you when I upload a new video. And if you're one of my returning subscribers, welcome back. Thank you so much for being here. You guys know that I appreciate you so, so much for clicking on my videos and coming back to my videos and being such loyal subscribers. I truly appreciate it, so welcome back to my channel. All right, today I am going to be sharing with you what I am eating on a protein sparing modified fast day. I had slept in today, actually. Today is a day off for me, and I had slept in until 10.30, which was super nice. I haven't slept in that long for a while, so it's really, really nice, and it also gives me a chance to like actually not be thinking about food or having my coffee too early, because I do try to have my 18-hour fast on my protein sparing modified fast days. Today so, I am going to be sharing with you a new recipe that my good friend Anita over at Ketogenic Woman has uh, created. So her uh, YouTube channel is always in the description when I do make one of her uh, fabulous recipes. If you aren't following her, make sure you give her a follow. Tell her Janet Greta sent you. She is absolutely amazing. She is a fellow Canadian and such a sweetheart. So make sure you go and give her some love. So we are gonna be making that recipe for supper. I will let you guys know what that is in a bit. But first, you guys, we have to get started on our coffee. So you know I make my coffee a little bit different right now on my protein sparing modified fast days. So let's start the day off and let me show you how I make my protein sparing modified fast coffee. All right, so in here, I'm gonna have an iced coffee today. I just put some ice and some water and I filled it up to about the top line right there. All right, I grabbed all my ingredients and I'm ready to start. So you guys know I have been loving the Javi coffee. I have a link always in the description for you guys to try it, but it is the best. I absolutely love it. It is my go-to. Actually, I've been having this even for my hot coffee now. It tastes amazing. I absolutely love, love the taste. So what I do is I use two teaspoons of that and I just use a little dropper because last time I used it without the dropper, I had spilt some and I'm like, I can't, this is like gold to me. I absolutely love this stuff. So now I started using a dropper, which I, it's easy enough just to easily do this for two teaspoons. So I absolutely love that. All right, next I add two sweetener. I just get my sweetener from the dollar store. I've been using the same sweetener for probably two years now. It doesn't affect me at all. You guys can use your favorite sweetener though. And then I add some of my caramel skinny syrup. You guys know my favorite flavor is caramel. Caramel, anything I absolutely love. So I'm gonna put a splash of that in there. And then I've been measuring, actually I have been measuring pretty much everything that I have been um, using like lately since I really, really started gung-ho on the protein sparing modified fast. So one of my good friends, Kelsey, had let me know about this product. I've been using this probably, uh, I've seen it for a couple months now. I buy it at my local Superstore. It's in the natural section at Superstore. Um, I also have found it at a co-op, which is in Canada here, but it is the Silk Half and Half. It is dairy-free and it is the oat and coconut. So this has really, really good macros. I use two tablespoons and it gives me two carbs so I love that I love that it's also dairy free as well too but I am also allergic to any kind of nuts so I can't have any almond milk um, macadamia nut or anything like that so this is what I use for a little bit of added flavor so I use two tablespoons of that and then like I said because I am allergic to all nuts I have been using some unsweetened coconut milk and the good thing about this is it is dairy free as well too so I love that and this is really 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 low in all macros so for one cup it actually is one total carb so I just top up my cup with this I do not measure this because everything in it is so low in uh, macros so I just top that up I would say maybe is about a half a cup if I were to guess so that is it. That is how I have my coffee on protein sparing modified fast days. It works out to be, well, if you want to count the 0.5 for my half a cup, but it's definitely two total carbs. So I love it that it's low in carbs and I can keep all my macros really, really low. And this tastes absolutely amazing. 
It's still starting to be like fall here, but we're getting warmer temperatures during the day where it's about 25 degrees Celsius. Nighttime, it gets really, really cold. We're getting lows down to like five degrees, but you know what? Today, I just feel like an iced coffee. So this is going to be it. And that is going to be how I'm going to be breaking my fast. And right now it is almost 12 o'clock. All right, I am ready for meal number one. It is a little after one o'clock and I'm gonna keep my meal number one really, really simple because my uh, recipe that is gonna be coming later on is gonna be really filling and I'm gonna save a lot of my macros for that. So I will show you what I am having for meal number one. All right, so I'm keeping it super simple, you guys, for meal number one. Here I have four ounces of roast chicken and four ounces of deer steak, and that is going to be my meal number one. Just keeping it really, really simple, and you will see meal number two recipe coming up shortly. I will have the macros for this on the screen as well, too, for meal number one. All right, so it is about 3.30 in the afternoon and I am feeling a little bit snackish. So, of course, you guys, I am going to reach for my carnivore crisps. I'm going to be having the chicken breast, though, because the macros on the chicken breast are extremely good for your protein sparing modified fast days. So this is a bigger bag and it contains five servings, but per serving, it is 70 calories, 1.5 grams of fat, zero carbs, and 12 grams of protein. So really, really good snack. I'll probably weigh it out and I'll have two servings, but really, really good for your protein spraying modified fast days. I absolutely love, love carnivore crisps. You guys know I did a review video. I will have that video actually linked in the description if you want to check it out. Jimmy is in that video and we both fell in love with the carnivore crisps. So make sure you check out the link in my description and make sure that you use Janet Greta. It'll save you 10% on your first order of carnivore crisps. But I am going to have two servings of this right now for my snack. All right, I also just wanted to come on here quick that I had measured out two servings, which is 42 grams of the chicken breast carnivore crisps. And this filled up the whole entire bowl, you guys. And that's what I love about carnivore crisps is you actually get quite a bit for the amount of grams per serving. So this is what I'm gonna be having and look at my bowl. I definitely couldn't have said it better myself. <laughs> All right, so we are ready to get started on meal number two. So today's recipe, I'm so excited. I am going to be trying Anita from the Ketogenic Woman. I am trying her, her um, Protein Sparing Modified Fast or Keto Noodle. I'm so excited to be trying those noodles. I've thought about trying those for a long time. And today I am going to be utilizing them in a recipe of Protein Sparing Modified Fast Beef Stroganoff. So super excited to try this. I hope it all turns out. Now, I wanna just make it known that on my protein sparing modified fast days, I tend to stick with no dairy. Everybody has their own opinions about this. I know Maria Emmerich who started all of this, she suggests that you don't have any dairy on your protein sparing modified fast days. And most of those days I do not have dairy, but occasionally I will have a little bit of dairy, whether it's butter or in today's recipe, I will be adding sour cream. So that will be a little bit of dairy. If you're not comfortable with including that, then you can probably substitute for something else. So, um, but I'm sorry, I usually do have a little bit of dairy occasionally for my protein spray modified fast days. Um, it's just a lifestyle change. Like I wanna reach my goal weight and I don't wanna feel like I have to suffer through getting to my goal. I've done that way too many times and it's just set me up for failure, honestly, because then I feel like I'm just going way too restrictive. Um, and I'm very, very close to my goal. So, you know what, I just kind of want to like enjoy my meals and if it includes a little bit of sour cream on a protein sparing modified fast day, then that's what I'm going to be doing. So you guys, let's get started on meal number two and it is going to be beef stroganoff. So let's get started. All right, I started making the meatballs because we are going to be making some meatballs to go with our beef stroganoff. 
So I quickly, I used um, just some elk burger and mixed one egg with it and some seasonings, kept it really, really simple. And I threw that in the oven. So I'm just gonna let them finish baking for now. Probably will take another 20 minutes and then we will get started on our noodles. All right, I am ready to get started on our noodles. So let's get started. I have the ingredients. It's only three ingredients, so let's get started. I am gonna be working over here. I have my um, cookie dish with my silicone mat on top. I definitely need to get a larger baking sheet, but I need two thirds of a cup of egg whites. So I'm going to put that in this jar right here. I'm gonna put that in this right here. And then I'm gonna keep the yolks. I already made another recipe, so I have nine yolks in here. So I'll probably make another batch of the lemon curd, to be honest. From all things at once without thinking twice. All right, so there we go. I have two thirds of a cup of egg whites. I'm gonna pour it in my magic bullet. And then you will need 30 grams of mozzarella and you will need a hundred gram tin of can or flaked chicken. So I'm just gonna put this in there. And then I'm going to get my scale and I will weigh out my mozzarella cheese. All right, there we go. So that is all done. So now I'm going to put my lid on my magic bullet and I'm gonna blend it up really, really well in my magic bullet. That's good, as long as there is no lumps, it should be all good. Looks pretty smooth to me. So, I am just going to, oh, I have an audience. Hello, Cove. <laughs> so what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna put this on my baking sheet. Now, mine is a little bit smaller than what she used, so hopefully this will still turn out, but I'm just gonna pour it on there and then put it in a 350 degree oven and bake it for about seven to eight minutes. I will have the original recipe linked in my description um, for her channel. I love Anita, she has so, so many good recipes. She shares a lot of the protein sparing modified fast recipes that she's making and they all look amazing. Okay, so I'm just going to kind of make this a little bit thinner, make sure it's pushed on my edges here. Like I said, mine might be a little bit thicker noodles, but hopefully they'll still turn out because my pan here is not as big as the one that she uses, so. All right, that looks pretty well even. All right, and then we are gonna put this in a 350 degree oven for about seven to eight minutes. All right, while that is in the oven, I am actually going to start on the mixture, the stroganoff part. So I just put a little bit of olive oil in here and I'm going to put some a can of mushrooms in here as well. And I just have this on low and we are just gonna saute these up for a little bit. I'm also just gonna put some seasonings. I'm gonna put some minced onion. Minced garlic and salt and pepper. just went off for the noodles so I'm going to take that out and I'm just going to put it on the counter behind me and let it cool before we cut it. All right my mushrooms are sauteed up a little bit and I have a cup of beef broth here that I'm going to pour in.
And we are gonna just let that simmer for a little bit. And then we will add the rest of our ingredients. All right, sorry, this is bubbling. Sorry if it's loud. I added about a quarter of a teaspoon of xanthan gum to this as well, just to thicken this up, the, the broth and everything. And now I just have it on low and I'm going to add a quarter of a cup of sour cream. And then we will just mix it all together until it is all smooth. And that is it. I'm gonna let this simmer just for literally two minutes and then supper should be all done. All right, I have started cutting my noodles and this part here that I cut off was much thinner than the rest of it. So I just have it off to the side and I will give all three dogs a little bit of a treat later on. But I'm just gonna finish slicing this and then our supper will be all completely done. Now I'm gonna split this into two servings just because it's not as a large pan. I know Anita had made this into three servings, but um, my pan wasn't as large. And like I said, I don't have as many noodles as she would have made. So I'm going to just finish slicing this up and then we will get everything all together and supper will be served. All right. So as you can see, I made two servings here. This one is going to be for dinner tonight and this will be a leftover one. So I added my meatballs with the stroganoff. So I added eight meatballs. So I'm literally going to just put them in half and put four on each with some of the sauce. Oh, this smells delicious, you guys. I haven't had beef stroganoff. I can't even remember how long it's been. And I love mushrooms. So you guys, if you wanted to, you could keep this a little bit thicker if you wanted. I like my sauce to be quite thick. Um, you can probably leave out the xanthan gum if you choose. But like I said, I just added that just to give it some more thickness. And this is perfectly how I like it. All right, so this is going to be dinner tonight, you guys absolutely delicious i will have the macros for this on the screen and this will be my last meal of the day this i'm just going to let cool off and then i will put the lid on it and that will be probably for lunch maybe on my next protein sparing modified fast day but this looks absolutely delicious all right everyone i will have the total macros for my whole day of eating on the screen right now today was it was a pretty good day for my protein sparing modified fast days. I have really been liking actually my protein sparing modified fast days because those are the days that I feel the leanest. I still look forward to my keto meals on my keto days, but on the protein sparing modified fast days, I feel so light. I really, really do. So it means that it's working. I am getting very, very close to my goal once again. So I'm hoping that I'll reach my goal before the holidays start. As I have mentioned, Canadian Thanksgiving is actually in October. So it is October 11th this year. So if I can, hopefully it's cutting it pretty close. I'm giving myself to before Christmas, even before the month of December is kind of my goal. In December, my birthday is December 17th. Christmas is December 25th and then New Year's Day is January 1st. So there's December is always kind of a crazy month as far as like, you know, maybe cheap meals, meals off plan. I'm still strategizing my plan for when I reach maintenance again, when I reach my goal weight. And I'm gonna do things a little bit differently, I think. Obviously what put me over the rails last year was last Christmas time. I ended up having four days of off plan and I ate whatever and whatever I wanted. Like I was having butter tarts like first thing in the morning, like it was not good. So um, holidays are a struggle for me because it is my birthday, Christmas and New Year's. And it's just so, so much to kind of like stay on track for those three weeks that I just tend to fall off the rails. And that's kind of what does me in. And I do not want to do that this year. 
please you guys hold me accountable and help me through this so we can do it together so I hope uh, I hope you're enjoying me listing all of my macros now before I was just doing calories and carbs but there was a subscriber that mentioned that she would love to see all of my macros so I have been including all of those so I hope that that's more enjoyable for you guys let me know down in the description if you like it better that way by seeing all of my macros so I hope you guys enjoyed this video make sure that you hit that red subscribe button give this video a like to let me know that you're liking my content and don't forget to hit that notification bell so YouTube can notify you when I upload a new video. Thanks for watching.